I was allowed to attend basic training in a Halo Arma server, and it was weird. I lost two hours of my life, and most of the experience was me just standing around and listening while learning rules, and yet, it was thoroughly, unrelentingly entertaining. After a very friendly person who went by Lucky set me up in TeamSpeak and the correct mods, I loaded into the server. Originally, I was just going to be spectating the training drills, like a tourist of some kind, observing the Arma community in their natural habitat. But before I could get a word in, a sergeant named Shaw had me transferred to his command, and I was instructed on the basics of scaling walls, using the field radio, and reading maps. I have ADHD, and I take Concerta to help maintain my focus on tasks. We did this at about 6.30 in the evening, and the Concerta I took earlier was wearing off. My mind was beginning to wander. I was struggling to pay attention. Normally, I'd just allow my mind to drift into fantasy land, but I was under the spell of Shaw, who sounded a bit like Gaz from Call of Duty 4. Your throat killing skills are remarkable. Okay. Your throat killing skills are remarkable. I was lured in by his London accent, and like a sailor under the spell of a sweet siren song, I quickly grabbed a nearby notebook on my desk and wrote down every bit of information he told me. Was basic training in Arma part of the plan? No. But it was too late to back out, and I would not let my new sergeant down. I fumbled and stumbled my way through the radio training, and we moved on to medical training. Shaw volunteered one of his own men to take a bullet, or five, or thirty-eight. And we learned about carrying wounded and applying tourniquets, which I did extremely well, except for the fact that I bandaged up the leg of a man who was bleeding to death from a gunshot wound to the chest. Left, there is a bandage with a with fractures, so like a broken bone symbol. Did you see that? Yeah, okay, good. He's already gone. Um, almost done. Yeah, okay. there we go. Uh, that's a tourniquet on his leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> After we had some of the basics down, Shaw had us all jog over to the shoot house where, as he put it, does anyone have any further questions before we move on to the fun shooty shooty bang bang pop? It was pretty cool jogging through the UNSC base, seeing squads running around, hearing gunshots popping off from firearms training, and taking in the atmosphere of a real Halo UNSC training facility. The base was alive with other folks doing their own training exercise or planning missions. All I could hear in my head was the Call of Duty 4 soundtrack battling for supremacy with the Halo soundtrack, and it was glorious. We arrived at the shoot house, and this is when we were informed on the procedures for breaching. That's a civilian. Do not shoot the civilians. You shoot civilians, you get minus points. I'm also going to time you on this. What we'll do, we'll do one practice run and then one full run, okay? Um, do not shoot civilians. I'm going to give you a maximum of, I don't know how many points. I'm just going to go off by what I want to, because I'm like that. No, I'm joking. Um, make sure you're not shooting civilians. Enemies are very obvious. They are holding a gun. Okay, come back outside. The way we open and breach into doors and houses at the first time is as follows. So at number one, which is your first man, he's going to stand there. So Reese, you go there because you've got the shotgun. Okay, User User left then join the channel. stand there. And then half you stand behind him at number three and I'll be last man. What I did find really neat was Sergeant Shaw explaining why it's smart to say, breaching, breaching, breaching. It's not just done for dramatic effect. It's so that there's enough time for somebody to interrupt and halt the breach if it's not safe to do so. There's an actual tactical reason for doing it. Breach him. But with this one, you want to be loud and clear. So you're breaching, 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 because your element lead could say, don't stop the breach, wait. Because you'll learn that with other things. You'll, you'll hear triple pronouns or triple words, and then that just allows time, okay? All right. We were ready. I won't lie, I had butterflies in my stomach. This was our moment to impress the sergeant and we were absolutely going to blow his socks off with our tactical skill. One set. Two set. Breaching, breaching, breaching. All right. Okay. Uh, going in. Got him. Okay. All right. All right, I'm, oh, I'm gonna- User I'm gonna joined bust your the channel. Up There's a staircase. We're going up it. Gotcha.
Breaching. Contact shit. <laughs> All right, opening. Oh, Christ. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I'll deal with that in a sec. All right, I don't see anybody up here. We got another room on the first floor though that we gotta clear, so All right. let's get back to it. Hopefully I don't bleed out. You want? All right. Reaching. Uh, can't see. Can I? That's fine. Okay. I didn't time that one purely because, well, <laughs> someone shot the civilian straight away. Someone shot a civilian straight away? Who could that have been? Do not shoot civilians. Oh. I was ready to run it again, and this time I made a mental note to actually think and not shoot the first innocent person I saw. Breaching, breaching, breaching. One civilian. Okay, another door. I thought that's fine. All right, gonna bust it. And as soon as you leave the front door is when the timer will stop. Yep. All right. Going in. Door. It's clear. Reloaded. Two coming out. Yeah, two coming out. Much better than the first attempt. And quite humorously, our time was one minute and 17 seconds. One minute, 17 seconds. Oh, well, the one minute, 17 seconds. Um. Was it really? One minute, 17? Yes. That's the Halo number. Yeah, that is. <laughs> one, two, yeah that is the, that's the Halo, that Halo number. number. That, that is, is actually. Number, yeah. I could feel my attention span weakening by the second. I didn't have much time left until I would be reduced to a horribly distractible simpleton. So I needed to figure out how to tell my superior officer I need to go. But he announced we would conclude basic training with a pelican drop. Okay, maybe I could hold on for a minute or so longer. In order to give my attention span something to gnaw on so that we could enjoy the pelican, I asked Shaw if he could just quote Call of Duty 4 just once. Okay. Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. We made our way to the pelican and were trained on the basics of operating our parachutes. As we were taught the buttons, the process, the formations to take and so on, I was deeply distracted by the pelican pilot, who I swear was judging me. His stare was eerie. What was going on underneath that helmet? We loaded up into the Pelican and turned on our radio so that we could hear each other over the loud sound of the Pelican engine. This was exciting. I can't think of anything like this happening in a mainline Halo game before, outside of the drop pod insertion in ODST. We were going to drop out of a real Pelican. The doors opened, and Group 1 was told to jump, then Group 2, which I was in. I double tapped the V key and my soldier leapt from the pelican. Try and land the RP on drop zone alpha. I was so caught up in the moment that I realized something. Something rather important. You see, when I was so distracted by that pilot earlier, my brain failed to retain the information on what key to press to open my parachute. I was in danger. I began scrambling to press every key on my keyboard to find the correct key. You know what? Hey! Maybe the parachute in this game opens automatically when you reach a certain level. Maybe I'll be okay. I was not okay. I think Knight has KO'd and didn't open his parachute, unless he is okay. RC Knight didn't open his parachute. <laughs> oh, I'm running over to you now. RC Knight's not gonna make it. Oh okay. no. Like a heavenly angel, Sergeant Shaw saved me from the brink of death. A victim of my own stupidity. I owed him my life and I will need to formulate a way to repay him for this kindness. We made our way back to the base as I took in the sprawling Halo City in the distance. Operation Trebuchet is magical. 
I had spent two hours of my life just standing around and listening to people talk at me, and I was absolutely entertained by it, something I can't say would work in other games. I took the hard crash landing as a sign that it was time for me to turn in for the night, and I thank the group for allowing me to participate and record the experience for all of you. I'll post a link to the company's Discord down below. They're always recruiting new members. I already have my next Operation Trebuchet adventure planned, and it's one I'm really excited about. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you all on the next video. Are you taking a dinner already? Nah, dude, I got KFC for myself. Oh, hell yeah. Are you do shipping? No, 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 I live in Canada, so I'm not paying that. All right, well, it's okay, it's okay. I'm in Canada too. Uh, oh, darn I'll it. drive you away. <laughs> Where you're, you from at? The, you're from the French Church. Yeah, I'm from no. the